What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cameron back at it again with a Battlefield 5 video and guys today I want to talk about Firestorm. Yeah, they're in the news recently because they've just released the duos playlist for the Firestorm mode and It's cool or whatever. I mean, I haven't played squads or duos I've only played solos in the Firestorm and I'm gonna get to the point of this video and shortly and the reason why that is, I hate Firestorm. I'm sorry, guys. I think Firestorm is hot garbage, all right? Firestorm is a terrible game mode. I'm sorry. My, I called it from the start. It's basically PUBG reskinned. Same thing as Blackout and same thing as, you know, Firestorm. It's basically just PUBG, all right? And it, that is because... There are some major problems with the way the game plays. And, you know, I just can't get behind it. Because the way the game plays is so slow and drawn out and boring that I just can't stand it. And I will give it to Battlefield. The map is fucking beautiful. The water looks great. The point of interest aren't bad. I love the map. The map is amazing, alright? It's one of the best maps. It's better than Blackout map. I haven't played PUBG, so I'm not going to comment on that. Or H1Z1, I'm not going to comment on that. But it rivals Fortnite for the best map. The graphics are beautiful. It's smooth. It plays great, all right? On a technical standpoint, it's a great success, all right? I can see that DICE really put the time in, it, in to make a great flowing game mode. It plays great, you know? There's no glitches that I've run across. There's nothing like that. That's a problem. The map, like I said, is better. It's probably the second best Battle Royale map, if not the first. It's beautiful. It's awesome. It looks great. And, you know, the gunplay is obviously good from, you know, from the multiplayer and from previous Battlefield games. Perfect. All right. On a technical standpoint, it's great. All right. I'm not going to hate. I really like the tech. I really like everything on a technical standpoint. But now this is where we get into the stuff I don't like. All right, and these are just my opinion, and feel free to comment what you guys think about Firestorm in the comments below. And if you're having a good time, why not subscribe and leave a like? It really helps my channel out. But here's where I disagree with some people raving about Firestorm. One, most of the people I see playing Firestorm are people who played PUBG before, like Dr. Disrespect and all those people. They like they like PUBG, so they're gonna they're gonna like Firestorm because it's just a better version of PUBG. Because it doesn't look like shit. It actually looks good. So, that being said, I hate the way it plays out. I just hate it. I hate the camping. It's fucking horrible. I've run into houses countless number of times and died. Alright? And that's just been so annoying to me. Because I hate going into a house and just dying every single fucking time. That's a huge annoyance to me. It really is. Because you can't hear people. The audio needs a little bit of work. Because you cannot hear anybody. When they're in the, the house, camping in the attic, or camping in a corner, you should be able to hear some kind of sound cue that lets you know they're in there. And then be like, oh, Cameron, you like Apex. Oh, Cameron, you like uh, Fortnite. Here's the thing. I always use Bloodhound in Apex. So people camping in a corner are easily seen by me. <laughs> so... That's why. In Apex, there's the special abilities and stuff like that that makes people want to play aggressively and use those abilities. Also, Ape, it may be different in squads. Maybe people push each other in squads. But from my experience, nobody pushes each other. They just camp in buildings. All right? So maybe I'm ignorant to that. But Apex is a lot more nerve-wracking than fucking Firestorm. There's... Very rarely been people I've seen camping in Apex. It's usually people looking for one another because the game is so fast and you run so fast that it's insane. All right, and you have Octane now, who's like a fucking speed demon. And you have all these fast-paced mechanics in the game to counter camping. All right, and in Fortnite, nobody camps anymore because everybody's a fucking wannabe Twitch streamer. So they're all, they're all going for fucking trick shots or building like crazy and build battles all right and here's my next point i feel like you cannot make a successful battle royale mode if your game is not a battle royale game all right let's look at it blackout is renowned as kind of an average to below average battle royale 
All right, I hear there's a lot of people who shit on Blackout. You know, I, the people who like Blackout are are in a severe minority. All right, that's at least my experience. Firestorm. I just hear people saying they're impressed with it, maybe because the bandwagon for hate on Battlefield 5 is so high that people think it's just a shit fucking game, which is so far from the truth. Battlefield 5, honestly, it's multiplayer. It's probably the best multiplayer I've ever fucking played. I've never had this much fun on a Battlefield game or a multiplayer game since, like, Call of Duty Golden Age, all right? This multiplayer is the shit, and people who are just hating on it blindly are so annoying. It's a huge improvement on uh, Battlefield 1. So people just saying, oh, I'm surprised. This is so good. They're just hating on it. They were just hating on it before. I guarantee if those same people give the multiplayer a chance and hop off the bandwagon, they'll love it. I'm just telling you right now. And they'll think Firestorm is shit. All right? Yeah. Also, when people are just sitting and camping on the middle in the snow, you can't see them. I saw a video like this, and I, I forgot the name of it, but props to him if you see this video. Props to you. You have some great suggestions for the game, and I may even be interested in playing the game if they implement these suggestions. If they implement breath coming out of their fucking mouth when they're laying down in the snow to, to give them away. Not like a fucking fog machine. Like, I'm sure some people commenting like, oh, that's just gonna give us a way to snipers. Like, dude, no. They're not, he's not suggesting a fog machine and like when you breathe, the whole fucking area around you is all foggy. No, they're just saying if you get kind of close, you should be able to see that somebody is camping there. It's impossible. Because in the multiplayer, it's not a big deal because, you know, that's how it's supposed to be. But in Battle Royale, getting snuck up on is really annoying because then you have to restart and reload up and everything like that. So I think that should be fixed. And those are my main gripes there. And number two is an offense that I won't forgive him for. And um, <laughs> that's just been stalling the game. It really has. Firestorm, because it developed late, it took DICE forever to iron it out. And... It just delayed the game so much, and it's still kind of delaying the game uh, a little bit. And, um, you know, there, we've had no content, we've had no new maps, just some new game modes and stuff like that. We've had no new maps, no new factions, we've just had one map, and that's because of fucking Firestorm, alright? It's not a coincidence that right after Firestorm is released... We have the microtransactions go live, which is not a good thing, but, you know, that's something that they said is going to be in the game from launch, but it wasn't. And then the microtransactions go live, and now we're getting new maps. We're going to get another map next chapter. We're going to get this and that. Oh, my God, all this shit is coming out. It's because you guys took so long in Firestorm. And it's not like Firestorm greatly turned around what happened, you know, with the whole SJW controversy that I hate. All right. You know what they should have done to please the SJWs? Just make a partisan faction later on in the game's life cycle that has female soldiers fighting. Because that makes sense. All right. That's not complete fucking alteration of history and blasphemy. If they just had a partisan uh, faction later in the game that you could play as, you know, and like fight in like France or some shit. That would be pretty cool. All right, that would be pretty sick, honestly. I would enjoy doing that. And if they had women fighting in there, that's fine. That's historically accurate, all right? That would have been a great suggestion. Instead of, no, Battle Royale, we have to hop on the bandwagon, all right? Your Battle Royale mode is just a reskin of PUBG. And it's not as popular as PUBG. It just looks way better visually than PUBG. And also, I feel the time to kill is far too high. You know, the, the second gripe is just a personal vendetta I have. But the, um, the fucking time to kill is just insanely high. And I hate that. Because I'll have an STG and I'm melting somebody. And then he just kills me in two shots. And I feel like the, the shield or the armor or whatever is just too hard to find. It's way too hard to find in my opinion. I don't like it. I don't like only having 50 shield or armor or whatever you want to call it. I don't like that. I feel like it should be removed entirely. It makes the time to kill way too high. All right? And I feel like if you remove the armor, it will make the game a little bit more tactical and it may appeal to the PUBG crowd a little bit more. 
because armor is just kind of annoying to me because it's you, you, people are just bullet sponges, man. And it's impossible if the person has 150 armor and he's camping in the corner and surprises you. It's impossible. I hate it. It's whack. It fucking ruins the game. All right? Firestorm, it's just I just have such a personal vendetta against it because, dude, we would have had so many more maps and so much more content if this fucking game mode was never pushed out and forced to be pushed out. All right? It just bugs me, dude, because every single game just wants to be Fortnite so hard. But, dude, you can't be Fortnite with a $60 model. And you can't be Fortnite if you're not in a fucking beta phase. I don't understand it. These big these big AAA companies, they go, oh, Fortnite can update every week. So we'll make a Battle Royale too. The reason Fortnite is so good is because it's in a beta mode. It's in beta, so it can update whenever the fuck it wants. That's what makes it great. Because they can just keep doing that. It's an early access game. So it can just keep updating. Alright? And Apex was in fucking... Was in works for a while. Alright? And it's a strictly a Battle Royale game. That's what makes it good. In order to make a great Battle Royale game, which people enjoy, and it's fast-paced, and it's not buggy, and it runs super smoothly, is to just be purely a Battle Royale game. I don't understand it, dude. I really don't. If they want to take these older franchises in a new direction, then make it completely new. Don't be trying to just fucking appease the old, like, the old fans while trying to make some stupid shit. Like a Battle Royale. Fuck Battle Royale. I'm sick and tired of hearing about it. Alright? And I'm sick and tired of every game wanting to be a Battle Royale. Alright? That's honestly my personal opinion. It's really annoying. Firestorm is very very average at best just the visuals are amazing i will give them that frostbite engine beautiful great i love the visuals like i've said many times in this game if they make it into a multiplayer map fucking lit (laughs) but at the moment i do not like firestorm and i will not be playing firestorm and here's another thing i hate about it the day the weekly challenges to get the new weapons make you play firestorm and i fucking hate that It's so annoying that I'm forced to play Firestorm. I don't want to play Firestorm. I like playing Breakthrough. I like playing Conquest. I like playing the shit that Battlefield is actually meant to be. Alright? I don't want to play fucking PUBG version 2 World War 2. I don't want to play that. It's forcing me to play that to get the Fire Axe. Alright? And right right when I saw that you have to play fucking Firestorm, I said, fuck it. I'm not going to get the Fire Axe. Fuck the Fire Axe. Because I just hate Firestorm that much. And I'm grinding it out just to get everything. It's the only reason I'm grinding it out. And because I'm a YouTuber. If I was just a player, I would not want the Fire Axe because of this shit. It's just so annoying that they're forcing you to play Firestorm and experience Firestorm just so they can have player counts. And it, it's awful. I'm sorry, guys. I don't like it. Most first-person BRs are just not for me unless it's Apex Legends. Because in Apex Legends, people actually push you and fight. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe for more Battlefield 5 content. And let me know your thoughts on Firestorm in the comment section below. And if you're new around here, share with your friends, sub, all that good stuff. That being said, this is your boy Cameron. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.